Welcome to Electron Line. First, we looked at principles. Principles were definitions and assumptions. They did not need to be proven. They simply came first. We made some assumptions that we just take them for what they were. Now we're going to talk about properties. Properties are particular characteristics. They define a characteristic, a quality, a rule, or a law about a certain thing. These rules guide us with performing mathematical calculations and operations. So they are rules to guide us. Once we know the properties of something, we can work with that item. They define rules or laws that don't need to be proven. Again, they're self-evident, no proof required. We just accept them for what they are. As an example, here's a picture of a parallelogram. What do we know? What are the properties of parallelograms? Well, first of all, opposite sides are congruent. This side is congruent to this side, and this side is congruent to this side. Opposite angles are congruent. This angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle. Of course, the word congruent means they're the same length or magnitude or angle or something like that. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Here's one angle, here's a consecutive angle. Add those two angles together, they add up to 180 degrees, therefore they're assumed to be supplementary. That is a property of a parallelogram. If one angle is a right angle, all are right angles. So if we have a parallelogram, but one of the four angles is a right angle, that means all four of them are right angles, and then we no longer have a parallelogram, then we have specifically a rectangle, which is a special type of parallelogram. Diagonals bisect each other. In other words, if I draw a diagonal from this corner to this corner, and I draw a diagonal from this corner to this corner, the property is that they bisect one another, that this is exactly the same distance as this, and this is exactly the same distance as that. And finally, each diagonal produces two congruent triangles. If we get rid of this one diagonal right here, and we just look at the first one that we drew, notice that these two triangles are congruent. That is simply a property of a parallelogram. When we deal with regular mathematics, we have some properties there as well that you're probably already aware of and familiar with. For example, the commutative property. We can say that a plus b equals b plus a. That's the commutative property of addition. You can switch them around, you can commute, so to speak, a and b, and they're still equal. Associative property means that if we have three, for example, a, b, and c, and we add them together, we can first associate the first two together, we can add a plus b first and then add c to that, or we can add b plus c first and then add a to that, and those two sums are equal. That is a property of addition as well. So here you have now some examples and hopefully a better understanding of what we mean with a property. Again, it doesn't need to be proven, they're simply self-evident. So now we have all the tools that we need to start doing proofs. Well, not quite yet. We need to get through a few more definitions. We'll do a few more videos of that, and then we'll start guiding you through how to actually execute the proofs. So stay tuned, and we'll show you some more definitions.